All right, sorry, a little late today, and I didn't announce we were doing this. So it'll be interesting to see how many people show up and who comes. All right, um, so what are you gonna need? Um, a small step or a, a book or just anything really. Um, for one of the exercises we're gonna do is called plank up down. So we're gonna go up and down hands on the step. Uh, and then something small, uh, you can grab like canned goods or uh, I'll probably use my water bottle because I was in a rush to get set up. Um, but we're gonna do something called a corkscrew chop and lift. Um, so we'll go over that, but actually, you know what? Why don't we do this? Let me demo everything now and then go into the warm up. That way, during the warm up, not that I want you to skip a warm up, but um, that way, during the warm up, you can go and grab this stuff uh, if you if you need it, okay? Because uh, I didn't really put out a warning uh, about what you would need. This is really minimal. I think most of you guys will have something in the house, and if not, uh, it's not highly, highly needed. Um, so exercise number one, we're gonna do a split jump. Um, so you're gonna be, oh, I don't know why I don't like this, but. So exercise number one will be a split jump. So you're gonna go ahead into that split squat position, right? We're gonna go ahead and jump, switch, jump, switch, land nice and soft into that lunge position. I'll show you what it looks like from the front. So we're here, jump, switch, jump, switch, jump, switch, all right? Um, so that's exercise number one. Exercise number two is a high plank up down. So let's just say you have some kind of riser, a stack of books, whatever it is. You're gonna go ahead into a high plank position. Feet are as wide as they need to be, keep your hips nice and stable. We're gonna go up onto the step and then down, okay? That's it. Keep your hands directly underneath your shoulders. So I'll show you what it looks like from the side, okay? So keeping the hands under the shoulders, feet are as wide as they need to be. Come down, come up, okay? And you can switch the lead hand that comes up. So you're not always dominant with the same side. So that's exercise number two. Exercise number three, if I remember correctly, is called a corkscrew chop and lift. So we're gonna grab an object. I'm gonna use this. I might change it in the middle of the workout. We're gonna pivot, so we're gonna corkscrew. So I'm gonna come down to my right foot, bend, explode to my left here, and corkscrew, okay? So I'm gonna make a corkscrew motion. Now, when you throw explosively, the weight is there to add a little bit of momentum that you're trying to fight. So don't just throw, stop, and let that object continue to pull you in and twist your back. I want you to have control of this object, so you're gonna come here, explode, pop, and stop, right? You should control when that object stops. It shouldn't just be like, oh, stop, and then, oh, that object kept going, and is keep pulling me and twisting my, my spine, all right? So you're gonna come here, and if you cannot get too low, you're just gonna go here, twist, reset, notice I'm pivoting my opposite foot, throw, back, throw, okay? Um, if you're good, and you have a little bit more range of motion, whatever, you wanna get your heart up a little higher, we can go from all the way down here, explosively all the way up here. Okay, really notice I'm extending that back foot and hip, pivoting on my back toe, all right? Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. So we're gonna go then this way, yeah? Uh, and then the last and final exercise is a rocking push-up. So a rocking push-up, I'll show it at an angle. You're gonna go here into a rocking position, down on your hands and knees. We're gonna go ahead, rock back, rock forward into a push-up, rock back, rock forward into a push-up, rock back, rock forward into a push-up, okay? Obviously, if you can't do that, no big deal. You can do it from your knees and just go rock into push-up, rock into push-up, okay? Just a nice little flow we got there. Um, from original strength. Holy dental service, how's it going? Hey, uh, 
Jenny, Auntie, and Kim. How's it going? Uh, any questions there? All right, cool. Kim, this is easy for you because it's not eight in the morning there where you are. Uh, all right, so uh, let's get started with the warm up. So we went over the exercises, split jumps. If you cannot or should not be doing split jumps, um, then you're gonna go ahead and just do like a rever alternating reverse lunge or a, uh, a split squat one round and then a split squat with the other leg for the other round. That will be your regression. Um, the high plank up downs, just maybe a pledge plank and touch if you need to, uh, if you don't have a step, or you can just go and imagine you had a step and just go in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. Um, course through again, we'll just take it a little less explosive, a little less range of motion if we do need to regress that. And then the rocking push-ups, we can go to the kneeling version or something like that. So um, no big deal there. Um, okay, so uh, let's go through the warm-up. So we're gonna go for a minute of breathing. So let's go ahead and lay flat on our backs and uh, hug those knees, back of the legs. Bring it to your belly. Or the, I, I do the top, I just don't like grabbing the back of my legs underneath there and all of that. So just here and breathe in through the nose, into your belly. Notice your belly should feel and push into the tops of your thighs, push out on the side of your body there. So we're just nice, calm, relaxing breathing. Your body should feel more and more relaxed with every breath, just a little looser, a little more limp, a little more, a little less tension, I should say for the next minute or so. Roughly 10 breaths. couple more breaths from there we're gonna go into our head nods so let's just do them seated and let's sit up and look up head up look down head down sitting up nice and tall if you want you can push that floor away with your hands to elongate that spine push the the knees down whatever you want to do it helps on a nice long tall spine breathing into the belly. So if you can breathe into the belly and you have to hold your breath, then you can go ahead and relax that tension just a little bit. I want you up as tall as you can, especially in this time where we're probably all sitting down a lot, looking at a computer a lot. We really don't want that rounded, hunched over spine if we can help it. Okay, let's go into those rotations. So let's look over the shoulder, head rotation over the shoulder. Go ahead and use the hands, do a little bit extra rotation and pivot there. So eyes will lead where the head will follow. The head will lead where the body will follow, right? So my eyes will pull my head, my head will pull my body behind it. Okay. From here we're gonna go into some rolling. So let's go into some lower leg rolls. So let's go ahead. Actually, let's lay on our stomach. Arms overhead. For me, I want to put it out to the side slightly more than overhead because I have really bad shoulders that sometimes don't feel great. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and reach. Look where I'm going. I'm looking that way. I'm going to reach that way. I'm going to half roll. Let my lower body, let my upper body stay on the ground as long as possible. Reach and hold. Take a breath. Back, half roll the other way. Look where I'm going, reach that leg over, across, and then away from me, or away from my head, I should say, and then hold, and then come back, across, and away. You should feel that long line tension in your body, stretch and pull.
Hey Kim, by the way, if you're still on Instagram, uh, remind me to text you after or whatever. We just got an online training app. Uh, and I don't know if you still are working out at home when you can or whatnot And we said you opened that home gym one time and you have all the equipment, which I don't remember what you have I know you have like a jam wall, some resistance, bands, CRX uh, Let me know if you want to try out the online training thing and see how that's working for you It's really cool Way better than when we did it before where I just typed up your stuff and sent it to you over uh, over Excel and, and that kind of stuff, but uh, yeah, let me know. I haven't talked to you in a while. Uh, so from there, we're gonna go into some rocking. <clears throat> so we're gonna come up to our hands and knees, look straight forward at the horizon and just rock forward and back. Today, I'm gonna tuck my toes in to what we call a dorsiflexed position, pushing that floor away with my hands, I'm gonna rock forward and back. <laughs> so, Make sure you have a nice neutral spine. Move into a pain-free range of motion. Keep going. Awesome. I will, I should have your email address. Hopefully it's one that you use considering you have like 18 Instagram accounts. <laughs> Push that floor away, rocking forward and back. All right, and then we're going to a crawl. So let's just crawl forward and back. Or you can go into the access crawls if you want, which is pivoting on an axis, crawling in a circle, okay? Just make sure we're moving opposing arms and limbs. into that cross crawl march just I have the space if you don't march in place I'm just gonna go ahead and walk forward and back touching opposite arm to limb so arm to opposite thigh just make that cross body connection all right sit up nice and tall breathe into the belly All right, we're good. So, uh, any questions on the exercises? So, remember, we're gonna go four rounds. This is gonna suck, because I hate split jumps for four rounds. But we're gonna go split jumps. Remember that the alternative is a alternating reverse lunge or a split squat. And then each round, you're just gonna switch sides on the split squat. Um, Next is the high plank up downs. Again, if you don't have a step, you can just walk your hands in and out or go into a pledge plank or high plank and just weight shift lift and really focus on digging your feet into the ground, pressing that floor away and not creating a lot of tension there is really just gonna get your heart rate up anyway. Um, from there, hopefully you guys had time to just grab something small. I'm gonna end up just using my water bottle uh, I actually also have a gallon jug here of Green River syrup and, and Tide. Um, so I could possibly use that. I also have weights. I could possibly use that. Um, so whatever you want, just a little bit of load. And again, even if you don't have anything, uh, you could do it without and, and you're still going to get quite a lot of uh, benefit and heart rate up. Don't grab like your miniature dog and like use them uh, or your kid. Uh, you could. I don't know. I don't have kids. Uh, what do I know about safety for them? Um, it's 3070, correct. Because the chop and lift will be very uh, explosive and high heart rate, uh, and so will the split jumps. They'll get up really high, really fast if you're doing them correctly. Uh, and then we have the up downs and the, uh, the rocking push ups will be the last exercise, and that one's, uh, it's not that they're easy, but they're significantly easier than the corkscrew and uh, the split jumps, okay? Uh, on the split jumps, if your knees are bothering you at all or whatever, just go into that reverse lunge, go a little slower and just focus on uh, the tracking of your knee 
in line with your second and third toe. Uh, you can go ahead and weight those split jumps if you want to. I'll show you a possibility for that, I guess. Uh, I'll use the uh, Tide in Green River syrup over here to do that. Um, the high plank up downs, really speed um, or creating tension are the only ways to make it harder. I guess you go a higher step, but I really wouldn't worry about that too much because you don't want to shoulder shrug. Um, the corkscrews, you could obviously go with a heavier weight, just be more explosive, but make sure as you get more explosive, you have control of your body so you're not just explode and then let your body rotate past a range of motion that is safe for your body and you end up wrenching your back or anything like that. So be very careful. It is explode and stop, right? You control where to stop, not control, and then let it continue to pull you around. Um, and then the rocking push-ups, you can just take it up a little bit uh, and do like an elevated rock and then drop your knees into a kneeling push-up if the push-up's the, the hard part for you, which it will probably be the hard part for most people if if they can't do an elevated rock to push up, okay? Uh, any questions there? Does anybody need a second or two to grab their equipment, which is really just a book or um, a small little step? A phone. I, I would say phone book, but the reality is we probably don't have phone books anymore in the house. Um, and then uh, I have the timer and then a small object or a medium sized object for corkscrews. We're good? No questions, all right. Let's get started with the worst exercise ever, next to probably burpees. All right, split jumps, we good? Oh, four rounds of this, man, this is a little too early for this. And go. So land nice and safe. This thing's gonna beep at me. It didn't sound too promising when I started it, but we will see. Oh, there we go. My things actually work the way they're supposed to today. Whew. Ah. Hey, Diana. Oh, thanks to those of you who came to our Zoom hangout last night. It's good seeing faces for once. I know we talked about doing a Zoom workout, so we'll put that in the works maybe. Uh, uh, high plank up downs. So we're here. Diana, if you didn't see the instructions, just jump in. They're really nothing terribly hard. Five seconds. So we're just gonna go up, up, down, down, and then up, up, down, down. So just change your lead hands. I tend to always go that way, see? But you should go. Which is really like messes with my brain. So it's just, there's one pattern that's always gonna be easier for you, and the other one's gonna just like mess with your brain when you try to do it. So feet are wide as they need to be to keep here stable. Up, up, down, up, up, down. Up, up, down, up. have Zoom meetings on Friday nights. More important than us, Diana? How rude. <laughs> well, hopefully work's going well for you. I know you're still working and busy. So from here, we go to those high-low chops. I mean, uh, sorry, not high-low chops. Corkscrew, lifts and chops. It's more so a lift. You can explosively throw it on too, but. Diana, you're leaving your eating buddies for a different Zoom meeting. What's going on? I think our priorities are a little off. I get it. It's because you don't actually get to eat while we're on Zoom, huh? Like, go out and eat somewhere. See how it is. 
Uh, corkscrews. I'm gonna go in my non-dominant direction, which is this way. So remember, low, explode, low, explode, explode. So control where you stop. Don't let yourself just follow through willy-nilly. Really explode and drive that hip, that back hip, into full extension. That's easy. Here you go. Low. And then we're gonna do the other side. Oh. That one's tiring. Remember to try to bring your heart rate down. Um, if you need to, skip an exercise. Make sure your heart rate stays at about an eight, nine, 10 on the work. Get it up, get it high, get it fast up there safely, and then bring it down to like a six, six out of 10 effort wise, seven maybe. 25 seconds. Whew. Going the other way. It's already hot. I don't know if my AC is as cold as it used to be. Five seconds. So remember, more range of motion without having to go much faster as far as number of reps. That's how you can make it harder. On one of those, you notice it jumped a little bit, only because on this turf, when you pivot, it kind of rips up your toes a little bit. So I don't really dig in as hard, uh, and I jump a little bit sometimes, just to take that grinding tension off your toes, which is actually a good thing to produce force. But because I'm barefoot in this turf, I know it eats up your feet. Like I literally have cuts in my feet because of it sometimes. Um, just protecting my feet because my goal is not necessarily produce the most amount of force possible right now. That exercise usually is, but my goal really is just to get my heart rate up because it is metabolic. Use a mat? Uh, eh, I could. Not really worth it. It's not like I'm not getting my heart rate up. Eight seconds, where are we on? Rocking push-ups. So, into that quadruped position, right? Elevate, feet can be wider if they need to be. We're gonna rock back, come down, up, rock back, come down, rock back. going around. I'm tired. All right. Any questions so far, guys? Core screws make sense? Rocking push-ups make sense? The rest is not too challenging. I don't think it's anything crazy new or different. Split jumps. Did I say three? Where's the other person on Facebook watching us? Hi, third person. 10 seconds, split jumps. So 
you can get that knee all the way down, full range of motion. I go a little bit shorter because I'm a wuss and this burns. Try to sit up as tall as you can. Try not to lean forward on that front foot. When will this end? Land soft and quiet. I think, oh God. I think these really suck after the uh, tension ones. Rocking push-ups are hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah they are. But they're actually really good for your body too, like just to load the pelvic floor and spine with that back rock. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down for a little bit. Unfortunately on those rocking push-ups, my core is weak, so my spine twists and pops a little bit, and that popping is not a good one. It's not like a release of the back pop. Um, it's like a twisting grinding because my core is not turned on and stable. So normally if I were to do them, I'd probably do them as a strength exercise a little slower for me because I know my back. And that way I can control that pelvic tuck. Alternative to, yeah, yeah, I don't know if you were here, but you can just do rocking on the knees, right? So my knees are on the ground. I don't know if you can tell. I know it's not much different than seeing me like that, but knees are on the ground, rock back, and then drop into a kneeling push up and then come up. Does that work for you, Kim? The, sorry, you're on a plank up downs. Is there a way to do less impact on the rocking push-up, or are we talking about the split jumps? Sorry, there's kind of a delay. I'm not 100% sure what exercise you're talking about. Oh, you're good? Okay. Um, but if you were talking about the split jumps, you're just going to a reverse, an alternating reverse lunge, um, or a split squat. That is your low impact uh, variation for the split jump, if that's what you're talking about. And then yeah, if that rocking push-up is still too challenging on your knees, um, then you can go ahead with just <clears throat> a kneeling push-up or a negative push-up. No big deal. <clears throat> or maybe even better, because you do a lot of push-ups, just stay here in the elevated rocking. No push-up. You can try that too. I really like that. It's actually pretty taxing on your body and it's more core, which is great. So you can do that too, just an elevated rocking, elevated rocking to push up, or a kneeling rocking to a kneeling push up. Either one of those is fine. Or just a negative push up. Tons of options there depending. For me, I would probably choose not to do the push up part if I had to take one up, just because we're doing a whole lot of body weight stuff in general these days. That push ups are something that are probably gonna get overused, overworked. Ah, chops! Sorry guys, doing a terrible job. Woo. Practicing? Yeah. I wish I knew how to, or if there was a way, to put a timer on the screen. But the reality is, is I have no way to put my phone close enough to the screen, facing the camera, where you guys can see the time and not block out majority. Like I can't just put it, see I can put it there, but then only Facebook can see it. So, oh, I think Instagram's <clears throat> no matter what, you're gonna be too far away anyway. Instagram's got a really small screen. So maybe we can put it there? But the problem, oh I have another tripod stand actually technically. That's a little high though for it. Cause I can, at least on Facebook, cause Instagram it inverts. At least on Facebook, if I do this, I can still see the time. If we go this, there we go. It's a little bigger. Oh, 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 I don't, there we go. We'll, we'll see about that one day. Chops the other way. In 10 seconds, huh? 13 seconds. Whew. <clears throat> One the other way, guys. Whew. 
Else dying? Is it just me? My hamstrings are tight from Thursday's workout. Now we're going into rocking push ups. So let me know how these variations go for you, Kim. Hoy. How's everybody's quarantine life going? Good? Everybody stir crazy. Yeah. Hopefully you guys still get out every once in a while. At least get some sunlight, some fresh air, just a nice little change of scenery. I wonder if the city and county here in LA for Kim will let you at least just get out and drive around, but never leave your car unless you're in your driveway. Just to get a scenery, just to feel like you're getting out. I feel like I could do a lot for people's sanity. Not yet. That's because you're still working, Diana. <laughs> so I'm not gonna do the push-up part. I'm just gonna go into that rocking part. But remember, we can go into that rocking push-up. Whether it's your knees on the ground, or knees in the air. Just trying to control my pelvis, make sure my spine's not popping, which doesn't really cause pain, but I know it's because of a core weakness issue. <clears throat> Kim, how'd that go? Better? Oi! <clears throat> Two rounds down. Woo! Uh, sheesh. Two more rounds. These split jumps are gonna kill me. I think my quads are already tight. From uh, awesome, Kim. So is it just better or like you're good? Like if you're still finding it too much, we can go with something else. Right, so try one of the other regressions. If you want to, notice I didn't do the push-up part, I just did the, the elevated rocking part. Uh, where are we at? 10 seconds, split jumps. Anybody else do the, uh, I know my auntie did, the isometric workout the other day? Probably not a great idea to do this right after because uh, split jumps are killing. I'm gonna go into reverse lunge actually. I don't wanna tweak my knee, it's feeling a little, uncontrolled because it's fatiguing so give it a little bit of a rest see a little easier still try to get my heart out you know what i didn't show hello weights guys right here weights jump all right that can be your weights oh yeah Heart on your knees, alternative, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, just do the elevated rocking. Elevated, ele elevated rocking is great. Every time you rock back to those heels, load those hips, really load that pelvic floor, great for you. Get some ankle stability, some knee and hip mobility, some scapular mobility slash stability. So make sure when you're elevated rocking, we're not here, right, shoulders are down, and you're pushing away, keeping the shoulders in place. That's really great for your lats and shoulders, uh, for people with shoulder issues. So yeah, still a great exercise. Push up, just to make it a little bit harder, just add a pushing component to this workout. Completely unnecessary if it's not appropriate for you or if we're doing a lot of the body weight stuff anyway, right? We're doing push ups. All right guys, we're going to those planks. Oh, sorry. 
keep missing this preface. Woo. I'm already tired though. Yeah. Five seconds. Whew. Try to get back up and go. Ugh. So, uh, I don't know who's on here today. Uh, so, Diana, in case you didn't see it in an email, our online training app for group I put out yesterday. I did not send an email, I just released it and didn't tell anybody. Um, Cause I was gonna, con what is it? See my brain doesn't even work right now. I was going to put together, construct uh, an email and then send that out to you guys uh, with instructions and all of that. But I'm gonna try to shoot a video too. Make it a little bit easier. Um, so yeah, um, that's there. Should be in your email. If you didn't get it, go ahead and let me know. That way you'll get, you guys technically will now have workouts every day if you want it, right? That you guys can do 10 seconds. We were going into the corkscrew, non-dominant. For me, that's this way. Sorry, missing Facebook questions, comments, maybe. Try the link. Didn't work. Which link? The one for the Bridge Athletics? If that's the one, text me. I'll resend it. Click on it. Register your account and then download the app. Um, Lauren, for some reason, was having an issue last night. She was texting me and I, she didn't answer me after a couple back and forth. She couldn't enter her password in a second time to like confirm the password. I don't understand how to help her with that. Um, but I was gonna try to tell her like, just send me the email and I'll I'll go ahead and register a, what do you call it? Just a plain old password, like one, two, three, four, and she can go ahead and change it later. 10 seconds, we're gonna course through the other way. So if you do have that trouble, let me know, you can just download the app and then I can set up your account maybe. Um, we can just do it that way if we have to. I'd rather you set it up though. <clears throat> but, whew. we can try that and see? I haven't done that with anybody yet, so I don't know if that'll work, but I imagine it would. I assume the invitation link is independent to each person to set up your account. So we can just set the default password and then you can go ahead and change it. Exercise guys, rocking push ups, elevated rocking, negative push ups, kneeling push ups, rocking from the knees into a kneeling push up, whatever variation is appropriate for you. My muscles are burning more than my lungs are. Twenty seconds, guys. Jenny, are you actually working out? By the way, I don't know where you are. You're up here. Uh, I know you're like, yeah. Sometimes we get up a little late, <laughs> or we just do it later. Whew. Ugh. I'm 
just going to that elevated rocking where I can keep my pelvis nice and neutral and tight, I can focus on my core, focus on my shoulders, which are both bad. Oh. 10 more seconds, guys. four on Facebook. So I know I'm my auntie. I know I have Diana. Who else we got on Facebook? Oh, they just left or somebody just left. Who's the third person we got on Facebook? Do it later. Too early now. <laughs> I'm surprised you're even up. It's not noon yet. Oh, uh, last round. Oh, there the third person just left us on Facebook. I scared him away. I really wish we could see who joins on Facebook. I can't see. Some and for reason, sometimes it tells me who it is, and sometimes it doesn't. I wonder if it tells me who it is, if like they follow our Facebook page, because I assume Auntie and Donna, you guys both follow my Facebook page. Maybe that's why it notifies me that you guys are on. And that the other people, it doesn't notify me because they're just random people. I don't know, five seconds, split jumps. Ooh, yeah. You saw that variation with the weights, we're just here. I'll try a little bit of jumping. If I can control my knee, uh, left knee feels a little fatigued. You can also go into that knee drive. If you don't want to jump, you need to get it up a little bit. Make sure we're lunging. Okay. Oh, good. Done with that exercise. I feel like it's downhill now. So we got the high plank. Up downs. We should call them lateral up downs. Because right? you could also go forward and back this way. It's a little more awkward. Whew. Oh, we're back up to three. Who's the third person on Facebook? You can chat, ask questions. Happy to say hi. I just like knowing who's watching these things. Uh, 15 seconds, guys. Going to those high plank up downs. I'll show you variation if you don't have a step. I probably should have showed it earlier. It's really no big deal. You're just gonna walk in and out, but I'm gonna do it because my wrists are getting a little beat up from all this ground work over the last two weeks. And my body's pretty beat up. I got wrist issues, I got shoulder issues. So you're just gonna go in, out, in, out, in, out, okay? And obviously I shouldn't be pounding. I should be a little lighter. Or we can go without the moving and just here, lift, and just try to create a whole lot of tension in the body. Make sure nothing moves. Really press that floor away. So as I lift that limb, it should still look exactly the same as if I had all four limbs on the ground. Whew. Use the book, perfect. stations left corkscrew corkscrew the other way and then elevated rocking push-ups oh it sucks being muscle fatigued and not really I'm not I'm sweating but I'm not terribly lung fatigued I'm just muscle fatigued it's poor recovery on my part it's really what it comes down to nutrition sleep foam rolling, red light therapy. I skipped red light therapy yesterday, I didn't have time. Things like that. Couldn't zoom and red light therapy, so I decided to zoom in Norma Tech. Ah, <laughs> oh, corkscrew, non-dominant. Oh, 
the hamstrings are tightening up again. Oh, I don't feel funny in my wrist. Oh. We're gonna go the other way. Two more. Whew. This, this workout actually turned out better than I thought it would. I was struggling last night to write a new workout. So, the core screws came in, clutch. Rocking push-ups came in pretty clutch. Split jumps, I had that. I mean, that's pretty standard. I kind of want to avoid quads if I have to at this point, but it's very hard to do body weight only. We might, I, I'm gonna have to start planning ahead and like putting it out there what equipment so that we can start using equipment. Yeah, uh, I shouldn't say equipment, so that we could use some sort of weight. You won't necessarily need equipment, but I know for instance, Jenny, you could probably do Bow slide type stuff in your kitchen area with towels under your feet. What are we doing? Rocking push ups. So, maybe we can do a bow slide type of workout or one that uses them. Knowing that some of you have tile or hardwood, you guys can, um, what's the word? Slide on or use? So if I put that out early enough, people can kind of plan. So, oh God, and we're done. I know I kind of wussed out on that one. You think you like this workout? Oh, cause you haven't done it yet. Other side for corkscrew. Oh yeah, my fault. Good catch, Kim. We do have one more station. So I'm gonna go corkscrew the other way. If you guys already did that, do the rocking push-ups. I messed that up, I wasn't paying attention. I was ready for this to be done, Kim. Why well, you gotta remind me that we still had one more round? <laughs> But yeah, uh, I already have another workout done, but I never announced it or used it because it involves probably some weight and I wanted to put it out like a week ahead of time. Um, that like, hey, next week Friday, you're gonna need a medium to heavy weight, like a bag of rice, a jug of water. Um, so I gotta plan ahead and I can put that out ahead of time. Yeah, see, I just wanna get it done. <laughs> anyway, 10 seconds left. I actually don't mind the cork screws. They're kind of hurting my feet because of the turf, but it's fine. Kim, stop coaching me like that. <laughs> I know you like to do that too. And miscount your reps and exercises. <sighs> guys good catch cam we're done oh, that's right I don't let Kim get away with that either so it's only fair that she catches me all right guys Whew. bring your heart rates down try to control your breathing Try to get it to come down fast. I know we're done, but anytime you finish a workout, you should try to kick off your recovery by doing some quality breathing and moving yourself from a sympathetic nervous system, which is your fight or flight response, which is elevated because you were working out, to a parasympathetic, which is your rest, digest, restore. Um, uh, nervous system. So you do want to start your workouts, I mean end your workouts uh, by kicking off your recovery with some breathing stuff and foam rolling. 
um, to get yourself. Oh, I thought that sounded funny. Um, to get yourself into that parasympathetic, kick that off so you're not walking around the rest of the day nearly as high stressed from your workout, right? So that we can tell the body, hey, go ahead, rebuild, recover. What? We have four people on Facebook now? Y'all come when the workout's over? That sounds like our members, let's be honest. <laughs> ah. So for me, I'm doing my usual tight areas. Um, because of the split jumps, I'm doing kind of top, medial side of the quad. Hey, Uncle Kevin. Um, so I'm just doing that. I don't know if you can see. I don't, I can't. Oh, that's not good. Ugh. The, like, top of the quad, side, yeah. Kind of, just that quad area. Judy Dang, are we done? Yes, you are, Judy. I was wondering if you were here. Cause I know you just texted me before we started, but I wasn't sure if you were here. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm, because of uh, the split jumps, I'm rolling that area. My knee tends to collapse a little bit if I'm rushing too much. Uh, so that's why I stopped jumping after a while. Uh, so I did feel my knee, my knee wobbling more than I wanted to. So I'm gonna release that. Ooh. Um, you can go ahead and lay on a foam roller in your armpit and then roll down oh, to the bottom of your rib cage a little bit. Roll those lats. Those are hopefully going to be tight from your elevated rockings because you're pushing the floor away as well as those corkscrews. Finally figured out how to comment but you did the workout. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad you figured out how to comment. We always like having chat. Uh, oh. And then obviously uh, a typical place, regardless of workout, non-workout, uh, you wanna do your traps. Uh, I just need a masseuse. Uh, right, so traps. Uh, where else did we work today? High plank, yeah, you can do your forearms, especially cause uh, some of you guys did the isotension workout the other day. I got that idea from James Wilson, MTB training. He's over in uh, Den Colorado, not Denver, but he did, he did a, Isometric workout. I don't know if it, he did it already or what. I'm gonna go watch it. Hopefully it's on replay. But yeah, James Wilson, his wife's from Kauai, Kiele. I got that idea from him. Uh, so forearms. Oh, leaving now. Call me later about the online. I will do that, Kim. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your Cali Saturday. So forearms a little bit because uh, the plank up downs, right? Plus the um, isometric workout. Some of us did on Thursday, Jenny. <laughs> I don't even know if she's still here. <laughs> Oscar. Hey Oscar, I don't know who you are, but how's it going? Just finished the workout, so I'm about to put this Instagram uh, live onto the stories if you want to follow along the workout there. Oh. All right, and those are probably my main points of recovery. I am lucky enough to own a business where I have Normatec, and red light therapy and a ton of recovery equipment, foam rollers, heat vibration stuff. So I'm gonna probably go use some of that stuff, take a shower and then uh, shoot some videos for the online um, content that went out. Uh, just to fill in the gaps. Not all of them have demonstrations, 
Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot those. <laughs> You're still here, Jenny. Uh, okay, so uh, I appreciate you guys being here. Please like and comment. If you guys do have any questions, go ahead and share this to your page, tag people, whatever you wanna do to help spread the word about the workout if you enjoyed it. Um, I really appreciate that, guys. Uh, shoot for Monday. I'm gonna try to hopefully plan out a whole bunch of stuff between today and tomorrow so that we can actually put out a schedule and tell you exactly what you need for what days and we'll start that way we can start using some uh, type of weights it doesn't have to be equipment it could literally be stuff around your house for all I care carry your KitchenAid stand mixer like, that sucker is heavy but just don't drop it on your foot anyway um, thank you guys really appreciate you guys uh, being here following us on the workout those of you who came to the uh, the zoom hangout last night we'll try to do that weekly um, I just got to get it out to more people and, and, and touch base with people. So I got to touch base with a lot of our members. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you. See you guys on a Monday, hopefully.